Good morning, everyone. This is Frugal Mama or Maggie. Today is a wonderful sunny day, but kind of chilly. So we're doing two topics today. One I'll be cooking for you again, a very frugal cheap recipe. Because some days there are leftovers. Yeah, we don't have like one day of leftovers in this house. We have more than one day. It's like it could be two or three days a week. It depends what my oldest sons do. If they eat the food, good. If they don't, there's a leftover day the next day. But there's not enough food for everyone. And I don't want to be cooking again tonight. So what are we making today? Baked potatoes Greek style. In the oven, just potatoes with a few simple, inexpensive ingredients. Because potatoes are inexpensive and everything else is ex inexpensive and they're really fast to make. And the second thing, when I got up today and wore this, this sweater, it's a very cute sweater. I was thinking, if this sweater should ever die on me, would I be crying? Yes, I would. I've had this since I was either 17 or 20. Even I can't remember when I got it. If I got it when I was 20, that would make this sweater 25 years old. And I do wear it a lot. It's one of my favorites. And it's one of the only sweaters that I actually like and it's warm. Yeah, it has like a little... Yeah, the brush going. How do I keep my sweaters or sweater from not dying and wearing it so many years? That's easy. I wear my clothes out. I do not wash them out. I wear them out. Do not wash your clothes. If you wear it one time, don't put it in the washer. You can wear it once, twice, three, four, sometimes even up to five times before actually putting it in the washer. Sometimes I even do more. So, let me just put my hair back up and let's start cooking again today. Because when you're saving money or you're doing a no spend year or anything like that, everything begins in the kitchen. All the savings, if you can't save in the kitchen, you can't save anywhere else. So let's begin. I've already cleaned, like peeled my potatoes. Yeah. I want to have enough leftovers for tonight, plus the leftovers in the kitchen. That's what we're having for lunch today. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like either you empty the fridge from cooked food, and I'll make something really simple, get it cleaned out. I don't like starting Mondays or stuff like that with food already cooked in the kitchen. It has to be like a special occasion. So, here is up. I've already peeled my potatoes. We're a big family. Now, you can cook them like this, but it's gonna take forever for them to cook. My mom just cuts them in four but I don't want to be wasting energy, do I? So I just cut them about this thick. They boil and they cook faster. The faster they cook, the less energy I'll be using, like electricity. So, a cheap meal, saving money on food, plus saving money on electricity. That's it. I'll continue cutting and be back in a few seconds. I'm back. Just finished chopping, like cutting all the potatoes. Simple. A simple recipe. It could be a side dish, but we're having it as a main dish. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, you can use chicken base right now. You have that little powder that's yellow. If you're not, I use these. 
I don't know, I just call them cubes. This is a chicken flavor cube. Right there, pour it right in. Wasn't that simple? Okay, second we need oregano. Yeah, oregano, just plain oregano. This is hand-picked from us, from my mom's garden. That's where we planted it, because she has a well. It smells amazing. I'll just take it like a big pinch. Big pinch. Yeah, just some more. Some pepper. Why are they in containers? Because I buy them bulk. I have to buy a lot of things in bulk. Especially pepper. Quite expensive. And I do put a lot of pepper. My family eats a lot of pepper. We like hot food. Can't wait till the microphone comes. I've ordered it and it hasn't come yet. So forgive me if I'm not speaking loud enough. Salt. Yeah, just... I'm putting about... Let me just put it where I use. It's about a half a tablespoon. Or simple, right? There's nothing expensive. Potatoes, the cube I dropped, salt, pepper, oregano, and of course, I'm going to use olive oil. I have to find out how many mLs this is, milliliters, because I'm always using this glass. When I'm not filming, I do it by eye. And we continue to our next step. Our next step is easy. Remember the lemon that I was using yesterday to cook? Meatballs with rice. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's amazing. It's a cheap meal. A nice warm cheap meal. We're gonna add the lemon. Now at this point, everything is in here. I'm just gonna add the water. Yeah, it's gonna need more water, but I don't care. I'm gonna put my oven on high. I'm going to be using that oven right there. It does need cleaning. <laughs> but we're probably doing that tomorrow. Together. To show you my cleaner again. Because it's money. People, don't shoot your money down the, the drain or supermarket buying the, like, ready cleaners. Now, also here, you can add butter. If you want a more buttery taste, you can add more lemon, more salt, more anything you want. You can even add mustard. Now, don't just overdo it. If you're adding mustard, start simple with one teaspoon. I'm not going to add anything. My husband likes adding garlic. I don't like garlic. I might just put some powder at the end. What should I put? Let me think about it a little bit. I decided I wasn't going to leave it like this. I'm adding a garlic. Just kind of cut it in three. Because up to now it was a basic recipe. Like I was saying, you can add mustard, uh, butter, garlic, or garlic powder. I'm already adding garlic. My oven's on high. I'm putting on the low, like the lowest rack and I'm just gonna let it cook making sure there's always water so all the potatoes become nice soft and at the end I'm gonna put it on the grill so they can grill on top and be nice and soft inside and crunchy outside a simple meal the simplest see you in a while I would just go put this in the oven and I'm back to show you the potatoes there, it didn't even take an hour. Are you ready? Now 
They're nice. They're crisp. Yeah, there. And they're the easiest recipe to make. But it's too early here in the morning. It's like 11 o'clock. So, no, I'm not going to have... Potatoes for breakfast. I'm going to take the rest out of the fridge so it gets room temperature slowly. And when it's time, I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And there's our lunch. Keep saving. Try your best. That's all that counts. And if you do like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. It keeps me motivated, like a lot. If you want to share, my pleasure. Because I've given myself until 2020 to help 1,000 people try to get out of debt. Thank you. This is Fuku Mama signing out. Hope to see you soon.